in it. Amen. I'm excited. I want to welcome all the social media. We're going to get ready to go into the Word of God today. And we want to talk about prophetic, prophetically today. Destiny is a decision. Destiny is decided by a decision. Destiny is decided by a decision. How many know that, that destiny is decided by a decision? How many know you're making decisions every day? Every moment, it's not, it's not a moment, it's not a second that you're not making a decision. Amen. You could, you could either make, be made, trying to make a decision to do it better, or you can make a decision not to do it. The right thing. You can make a decision to do the right thing or not to do the right thing. But a decision is going to come into play. Someone said a decision is going to come into a play. A decision is going to come into play. And a lot of times decisions are governed by either spirit or it's governed by culture. Amen. A decision can be governed by that of the spirit or a decision can be governed by culture. Your culture can dictate how you make decisions. And how you make decisions, ma'am, is how you live. How do you know that freedom is a choice? Amen. Amen. And bondage is too. Yes. Amen. Come on here. You, there's no such thing you was born on the wrong side of the track. That all sounds good. You follow, follow what I'm saying? But before there was ever, ever this side of the track, if you want to say that, then there was a place called spirit mm -hmm. in which we all came from. Amen. And I'm going to know that you were loaded. You were loaded with everything that you needed to be successful and to be great in this earth. You was loaded. You, you came here loaded. We came here loaded. We came here loaded with answers, loaded uh, uh, to be able to come overcome whatever obstacle that we may have. We were loaded with it. You were made with it. It's part of your DNA. It's part of your DNA to be great. It's Amen. part of your DNA to win. It's yes. part of your DNA to, to conquer. You follow what I'm saying? Amen. You don't know losing until you decide to lose. Whoa. You don't know defeat till you decide to be defeated. De defeat is not how many how many punches you throw. Don't. It's a decision. Amen. A, a, it's a, see, at the end of the day, it's a decision that got you where you are. That's right. It's, a, it, it, it's simply, it, 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 it's no secret to it. It's a decision. If you find yourself in neutral, it's a decision that got you there. Mm -hmm. You're living from a decision that you decide to make a law in your life. I just said something. You're living from a decision that you decide to make law. Better living requires a better decision. Yes. Anybody hear what I just said? Yes. Better living, better marriage requires a better decision. Better health requires a better effort, a better decision. You want to feel better, you got to eat better. Yeah. Huh? You want, you, you want to think better and feel better in your spirit? Then you got to get out of toxic environments. Mm -hmm. You got to get it, it, out of an environment that stripped you from being the God you. I just said something. Mm -hmm. You got to move at me from an environment that stripped you from being the God you. Amen. That environment that make you depend on yourself. See, depending on you. It's up to you. I, I, I can throw you a life jacket. You know you can't swim, but it's up to you to grab it. Now, at that moment, you can either trust the life jacket or, or trust drowning. And you will accomplish it. You will accomplish that. How many of you hear what I'm saying? Yes. Go to the book of uh, John, the fifth chapter. Your destiny looks like your decision. Tell me your decision right now, I'll tell you your destiny. Tell me what you're thinking right now, I'll tell you your destiny. Mm -hmm. Tell me your attitude right now, Brother Elijah, I'll tell you your destiny. Tell me how you're feeling right now, I'll tell you the outcome of that feeling. Some feelings are good, but some you don't want to have. Mm -hmm. Some feelings can be indicators. <laughs> Some things you want to feel, some things you don't want to feel. That's right. hmm? When you have pain, that's a feeling that caused you to make another decision. Pain, 
Pain leads to correction. Watch your, yucky, watch your young man. You're going to be quiet now. Go, 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 go to John. Go to John Fares. The word said, multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision, for the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. John, John the fifth chapter. And go there, and I'm, I'm going to read you something. I'm going to read you something. If, if, if you feel in some kind of way right now, it's from a decision you have made. If you got any kind of funk, I call it a funk. If you got any kind of funk on you right now, any kind of spirit on you right any kind of ill feeling on you, any kind of crazy feeling, any kind of feeling that, that doesn't uh, esteem your greatness, then you need to make another decision. Because see, God didn't, did you know God didn't create us to stress out? Black out? Get knocked out? Because that's what our stress going to do. Going to blind you, knock you out, knock you out the race. And you spend 20 years doing nothing, pretending to purpose, because you stress over something that, that, that you need to make a decision about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what happens, what happens when, some, when something crazy, you need to make another decision. You need, you need information, and you lack information. Come on, Hosea 4 and 6. It said, my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge because they reject the truth. Wait a minute. That's, a, that's like a household word. My people are destroyed. For the lack of what? Knowledge. Knowledge. What does he just want about information? When, when you lack something, it's the information you need. How, what, what about when you need money? Do you know when you need money, the first thing you need is not the money. You need information. You need, when there's a lack of money, Temple, you need information first. Because if I just give you the money, guess what? You got the money, but you didn't get the information, so you're going to repeat that again. It's kind of like, a man that's hungry should should tell him about and what he get a job and, and what it, how to do this. You just keep giving a, a loaf of bread out the door. Well, he's gonna constantly be coming to your door because you have not taught him the fish. You keep giving him a fish, mm. and so instead of you tell him how the, the principles, instead you give him a principle, I'm, I'm gonna give you a fish, but here's the principle that go with the fish. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you something. And when you discover that not only can I pull the fish. Come on here, out the lake, but I can own the lake. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The fish is mine. I can have the land that it's on. Amen. Is, 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 is anybody here in this game? Mm -hmm. See, sometimes we get stuck on the wrong thing. You follow me? And we hinder our own self by our own belief. We get caught up in the illusion instead of the revelation. We get caught up in the illusion of the situation. And so now you hear the voice of situation louder than the voice of desire. Mm, you get that tomorrow. Let me say that again. Mm. A lot of times you start hearing the voice of situation louder than the voice of desire that you were born with. That's connected to your potential. You ain't hear nothing I just said. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, everybody didn't know about the voice of about the voice of uh, 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 of situation. Hmm? You ever had, you ever heard a situation talk to you mm -hmm. in the middle of the night? Yeah. You, you ever heard a situation talk to you while you're at work? You ever heard a situation talk to you while you're reading? Or while you're driving, situation talking to you? And, and I don't know about you, but situation, they never told me I was great. Situation, they never told me that I was going to win, Brother Temple. So, situation always show you the worst end of it. Can anybody understand? Can anybody understand what I'm saying? Yes. It always shows you the, the worst of everything. Is anybody hearing this? Yes, sir. But when you hear the voice of revelation, it, 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 it tells you about what you were wired for. It tells you how great you were or how great you are. It tells you, the voice of revelation tells you what you are and what you can be doing if you make a decision. Amen. Come on here. Huh? Let, let me give you a word. The same faith that spoke it can be the same faith that maintenance it. Amen. Y'all missed that. Mm -hmm. You didn't hear nothing I just said. I said the same faith that spoke it is the same faith that maintenance it. Did anybody catch what I just said? Did that flower yes. y'all's here? Is that out there on 635 somewhere? Yes. I heard it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See. The same God that gave it to you can cause you to keep it. 
The same God that gave you happiness Monday can give you happiness on Friday if you stay with the principle. But when you start, when you begin to change the principle, then the scenery change. Mm -hmm. Is anybody hearing this? Yes. Yeah. When you begin to change the strategy up from, from the principle in which God gave, then something going to change. When, some, when something starts going crazy in my life, you know what, what I do? Sister Margot said, wait a minute, the principle. Mm -hmm. I must have left a principle somewhere because mm -hmm. this shouldn't be happening. Yeah. Again, something popped up on my, on, on my, uh, my uh, dryer this time this morning. I didn't panic. Mm -hmm. I remember the manual I had. I went straight to the manual. Mm -hmm. Again, it was something simple. Mm -hmm. Got too much in it. Mm -hmm. You got an overload, simple fix. See, a lot of times, all you gotta do is go back to the book. Mm -hmm. All you gotta do is go back to the book, and, and the book, a book will tell you what's on the owner's mind. Mm -hmm. And you can make your decision from the book. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh? You can make a decision whether you're going whether, whether to do what the book say and correct that or leave that code up there because you're in pride. You'd be surprised if people, uh, uh, stuff is an easy fix and they blow it up. Yeah. It, it, ain't, it ain't even that kind of part. It ain't even that big a deal. Mm -hmm. You ever see people blow stuff up? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not even that kind of party. But they're blowing it up simply because they're making a wrong decision. Go, go, to, go, to, um, go to John, the fifth chapter. Go to John the fifth chapter. And start with verse, start with verse one. It says that now after after John, John fifth chapter and verse five. Now after this there was a feast in the Jews, and the Jews went up to Jerusalem. Now in Jerusalem, by the sheep gate, there was a pool which which in Hebrew is called Bethesda having five porches. And in, in these lay a great crowd of individuals, blind, lame, paralyzed, waiting for the moving of the water. Now, now some translations say lying, L-Y-I-N-G, and some say L-I-E, like lie. And, and I looked at that this morning as I, as I was looking at several, at several um, different translations to this same verse. I, that word stuck out. The L.I.E. stood out. Stood out because this person is laying in a lying situation. Now I'm gonna read this. I want you. I want you to listen to this. I want you to listen to this. And I promise you, by the time I get through this, it's gonna become applicable to where you at, or what you're trying to come from. After there was a, a feast of the Jews, and the Jews went up to Jerusalem. Now in Jerusalem, by the sheep gate, there was a pool, which in Hebrew is called Bethesda, having five porches. In these lay a great, or, or somebody may say lie, a great crowd of individuals, blind, lame, paralyzed, waiting for the movement of the water. For an angel, messenger, say messenger, an angel's done, but a messenger, a messenger went down, at a certain time into the pool and stir the, the, up the water. After the stirring of the water, whosoever, I want you to underline that in your mind or in your pen, whosoever, someone said whosoever. Whosoever. <coughs> whosoever stepped in first was healed of whatever disease he had. What did it say? Whosoever. A certain man was there who had an illness for 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there, get some Bible say L I E, <laughs> lying there, and knew that he had been in that condition now a long time, he said to him, Do you want to be healed? Do you want to be healed? Now which, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna run this all the way, and then I'm then we're gonna come back and talk about it. Mm -hmm. all right. The sick, the sick man. Someone said the sick man. The sick man answered him. Someone said the sick man. The sick man. The wrong man answered him. The sick man answered. Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is stirred. But while I am coming, another step before me. That's sick man talking. Mm -hmm. 
Jesus said to him, rise, take up your bed, and walk. Immediately. Someone underline immediately. Because God can do some immediately stuff. Yes. Yes. You ain't hear nothing I see. Uh -huh. This ain't for everybody, but it can be for everybody. But these, this, what I'm talking about today is for extra miles. Uh -huh. He said, look, look where he said, rise, take up thy bed, and walk. Immediately the man was healed, took up his bed, and walked. Do we see that? Yes. Huh? See, here was a man that was obeying his culture. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Now, notice he wasn't the only man in that condition. But it, it, it pinpointed and pulled him out. There was men that were sick, blind, paralyzed. There was a culture of people. There was a culture of people that thought like he thought. That made the same decision that he made. That was stuck on stuck and written over. Mm -hmm. It's cut your people. He had a choice. 38 years before, before the revelation came, he had a choice 38 years before. He could have made a decision. Either believe the culture mm -hmm. of which he came from, that's called it the hood. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or he could believe that that was spirit, the messenger. That was asking him. Do you want to be healed? Do you want to be whole? Do you want something great to happen? Mm -hmm. See, if you don't master that sick man that wants to speak, mm -hmm. that other man, that flesh man that wants to speak, mm -hmm. if you don't dominate him in the situation, that's the voice that's going to talk. Yeah. That's the voice. Should you prophesy? Should you call him those things that be not as though they were? Is anybody see what I'm talking about here? Yes, it says, that, see, the sick man got a language. Your old man got a language. Mm -hmm. you, you hear what I'm saying, son? It's full of excuses. Mm -hmm. First thing you want to say, well, 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 I ain't old enough. I, 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 I'm black. I'm blue. I'm green. I, uh, uh, my age. Uh, I don't have enough money. Whatever the situation is, what, what's paralyzed? What's keeping you from taking the next step? What's causing you from not to move forward in Amen. spite of? Amen. What's got, what language got you stuck? Now watch this here. I want you to hear what I'm about to say. Now I'm saying something very important to those that are, to, to those that got ears to hear the Spirit talking. I'm talking to you. I'm telling you something real valuable. I want you to listen to you. He asked him a question that would cause him to rely on something from the inside of him. He said, do you want to, do you want to be healed? Do, do you want, I, he didn't ask him about nobody else. He didn't ask him about his mama, his daddy, his best friend. Mm -hmm. Do you want to be made healed? Do you want to be made whole? Nothing missing, nothing broken. Do you want to be made whole? Amen. I, I didn't ask you about another man. Do you want to be made whole? I, I, I'm not talking about how much money you make. I didn't ask you about your occupation. Do you want to be made whole? Yes. I, I, I'm not talking about how many bills you got. Uh -huh. I'm not talking about because your daddy wasn't there, your mama wasn't there, who left. I'm not, I ain't asked you not. Do you direct? That's a, a direct yes. question. Yes. Uh-huh. But immediately what he does he gave him an outside answer. What do you mean by he gave him an outside answer? He said, I have no man. Mm -hmm. See, he was looking for something outside of him. He, didn't, he missed the revelation that he was loaded. He was loaded with everything he needed from the inside. He was loaded with. Amen. See, the ability to rise up, when he said rise up and walk, that was already in him 38 years ago. Mm. That was already... Wow. God was communicating to him that what was already there, what he put in him. I, you got the potential to rise at every occasion. Amen. Is anybody hearing this? Here? Yes. Are you, are you hearing me, priest? Yes, sir. It, it ain't about where you been. And my mama was single parent. My mama ain't been. He didn't ask you about your mama. Before your mama was, God is. Yes. You knew God, but you knew your mama. Uh-huh. Because you was once with him. You ain't heard nothing I said. See, see, when you start getting so governed by culture, you forget where you come from. Mm -hmm. I just said something. When, when you start getting governed by culture, he's talking from his culture. It said, 
said the sick man. It didn't say the God man. It said the sick man. Answer him. He was talking to the God man, but the sick man answered. You hear nothing I just said. He was talking to the God man, but the sick man answered. Man of situation. <clears throat> man bound by wrong principles. I, 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 I bet, I, I bet y'all can relate. Huh? Have you ever woke up sounding sick? It's one thing to feel sick, but when you sound sick. Yeah. You, you, you know, sick and they got a voice. Mm. Mm -hmm. Full excuses. Mm -hmm. Huh? Full excuses. Sick man always counting his money. Going in malls, worrying about how much stuff costs. Going on parking lots. Come on here. Ain't got no faith. Just looking and wishing. Don't know he, no, that he or she already owned it. Can, can, can I give you a mystery? God ain't got no problem with a bill. Mm. You can get a cash or you can get a, you can get a credit. He can pay it either way. Cash or credit. How you want it? Will this be cash or credit? What if, what if next time you go to God and you say, God, I, I, I want this house, I want this so-and-so. He said, will that be cash or credit? How you want to believe? For the cash or the credit? I bet you just got that. Mm. Did anybody just hear what I just said? Yes, did anybody hear what God just said? Yes. How you want it, son? Mm -hmm. You want to cash your credit. How you want it? How can you believe? How you want it? Just because you don't see it don't mean it ain't available. And, and while I'm on that, let me show you something else too about storms. Let, let me give you a little commercial right quick. Every storm don't come to wipe you out. Sometimes storms come to give you a clearance. How about that? To just blow your path clear that you can walk to the next level. Every storm ain't trying to kill you. Some of them just come to blow your past. Blow some stuff out the way. Are we hearing this here? Yes, sir. Listen, 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 listen. So he says, the sick man answered him, sir, I have no man to put me into. See, looking for something on the outside of you. Looking for, see, any time you believe for something on the outside of you to deliver you, then you become a slave to that on the outside. Mm. But any time you believe for something on the inside of you to deliver you, you become liberated. You become liberated from the inside. You become a slave when you depend on that that's outside of you. Now you can be pimped. Mm. I bet you're getting it. Is anybody getting what I'm just saying? Yeah. Let me say it again, because I didn't, I, I didn't study. Let me say that again. If you allow something on the outside of you for your deliverance, then you become a slave to it. But when you when you rely on that on the inside, because I told you, you're loaded. Come on, we read it. it was like first Peter two, first Peter was it first Peter one, second chapter, first Peter one, second chapter. I've given you all things that pertain to life and goodness. I've given you all things. You are loaded in the earth now. You're loaded. You don't have you don't have to wait for this. You don't have to wait for a better life. Eternity starting now. Victory starting now. See, you, you, you pray for victory. You ask for victory. D did anybody get that? Mm -hmm. you, don't, you never talk to God from want. You never talk to God from lack. Mm -hmm. You never talk to God from not enough. You talk to him for more than enough. Mm -hmm. Amen. Let me give revelation on the prodigal son that left the house. Just, 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 I won't go into detail, but I'm sure something that he did. He asked the father to give him his goods. Yeah. He didn't speak to him from lack. He spoke to him, I know you got this. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let me have what's mine. Yeah. Okay. Even, now, 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 even though he's out of timing, but still he recognized, you got my goods. Mm -hmm. You got everything I God, I know you got. I know you can do this. Yes. God, I'm knowing you. I'm, the, I'm past believing. I'm knowing you to do this. Mm -hmm. I'm knowing you can work this out. Mm -hmm. There's results. There's God results that follow when you follow the principles of God. There's, mm -hmm. Come on now. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? Yes. Amen. There's God results that follow this. Is this, making, is this making a sense in the Bible? Yes, it is. 
So you gotta get a grip now. You gotta, you got you, you can walk around life laying around 38 years. 38, this could happen 38, 38 years. He waited 38 years to do something that he could have did from day one. Make a decision. Wow. wow. He, he, he said, he said, rise, take up that. Jesus said to him, rise. Jesus said to him, rise. Take up your bed and walk. In other words, he spoke to him by revelation, not by situation. Mm -hmm. Rise. For the mere fact that he said rise, that had nothing to do with nothing on the outside of him. There was something on the inside of him. To rise was already there. To get up was already there. Mm -hmm. That word was already there. Yeah. <coughs> See, this whole thing is about a decision. This whole walk is about a decision. You say by what? A decision? Yes. Am I right? Yes. Salvation is about what? A decision? And do you know what God preaches to? Once you, when you can say, you know what he preaches to? Your mind. He pre every, every Sunday, he preaches to your mind. Yeah. Come on, come on, Romans 12. To be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of the mind. Every time God, like right now, your mind give me new. Right now. Your, your thoughts are being replaced. Uh -huh. Thoughts are being replaced. If they don't give replaced, it's because you got a dismissal spirit. Mm, that's right. Is anybody hearing this here? Yes, sir. Hmm? Rise, take, rise, take up that, that bit. Now watch this here. 38 years delay because he was listening to the culture. Little prophet, I want you to hold your head up and I want you to look this way like all the rest of the grown people. Okay? And I'm serious about that now. Um, Jesus said to him, rise, take up thy bed, and walk. He spoke a word to him. It was a word that he gave him. It was a word that he spoke. I said it was a word that he spoke. A word that he could have got 38 years ago. It took him 38 years to hear God. Hmm. Wow. 38 years. He said, he said, rise, take rise. When he told him to rise, I want you to elevate your thinking. You got your, your thinking in neutral here. You, you, you listen too much to the culture. The culture was lame. The culture was blind. The culture was paralyzed. God was none of that. Was none of that God's identity. This was God's man. You hear that? I see. That had slipped from grace. Is anybody hearing this here? That you can buy into situation and get the fit inside for yourself. I ain't got nobody, nobody won't hire me. We'll create a job there. Go in business then. And you do the hire. Since nobody won't hire you. Well. Huh? You ain't, ain't no excuse. Ain't no excuse. Ain't no excuse. Excuse is nothing but excuse. That's all it is. Just an excuse. <laughs> great people don't have excuses. They solve problems. Hmm. Oh. That's what great people do. You never hear nobody great talking about, about uh, uh, you never hear Jay-Z talking about it. What he can't do? You ain't gonna open give a 30-minute speech on what on what she can't do. When you got a problem, if you got a big problem, you gotta come up with a bigger strategy. Hello. You ain't heard nothing I just said. Can I say that again? If you got a problem, you gotta come up with a bigger strategy. If you're discouraged, if your spirit is low, and you're discontent, and you're feeling crazy, well, you gotta come up with another strategy. Uh -huh. You only feel in some kind of way because you are alignment with greatness. Come on now. If, if greatness is talking, Brother Temple, and you don't give a damn about greatness, then you got a spirit on you. Hmm. Are you hearing me, brother, brother, brother Elijah? Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me, son? <laughs> Anytime greatness can't get your attention, then you're really in a, a crazy funk. Yeah. Huh? Anytime you can't help yourself and help coming and you don't want it, uh -huh. you kooky. Hello. Who wants to be shaped? Who wants to be broke? Who wants not to have nothing? That ain't the life of a king. Mm -hmm. Hello, kings. Hello. He said, I'm king of kings and I'm lord of lords. I'm king of kings and I'm lord of lords. 
What is a lot? Master, ruler, controller. Well, if you master, ruler, controller, why are you letting stuff rule you? Uh -huh. Why are you being ruled by situation? Why are you being ruled by petty stuff? Why are you being ruled by your money? Ruled by lies. <coughs> God created you with him in mind until he made you like his image. And if you got his image, you got his imagination. Is anybody hearing this here? Yeah. Yeah, I, love. I don't know about you, but this is real stuff, man. Huh? Huh? When you start feeling some kind of way, and you know that way ain't like God, man, you got to have something to throw that off. Mm -hmm. Huh? Okay. He said casting down imagination yeah. in every high thing that resolve itself against the knowledge of God, bringing into captive every thought to the obedience of Christ. Man, man, man who, who wants to hang around the lame, uh -huh. the broke, the lazy, the don't care. Who? Is that your audience? <laughs> Do you know if you don't change your culture, that will become your conversation? And that will become your mindset? Mm. Oh, yes, and people go, you think y'all that, yeah, 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 I am all of that. I'm finna keep it moving. I'm finna keep it moving. You can come closer, sister. One more to go. Bless you. Talking about destiny is decided by decision. Huh? Ain't, ain't nothing got you on lockdown but, but a decision. Better decision, better life. Better decision, more money. Better decision, come on, better health. Better decision, better marriage. Better decision, more peace. Amen. Ain't nothing but a decision governing you. Ain't nothing wrong with you to make another decision. If it ain't working, fix it. Hello. You quit licking your wounds and, and complain. Fix it. Quit trying to find you a, a, a pity pad party, a group of people to, to hear your misery, and you don't want no solution. Come on now. Everybody ain't out to kill you. You just need to make another decision. Uh -huh. What if I told you you're, you're your own enemy? Yeah. yeah. Come so, on here. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't want to talk problems. I'm looking for some, this is not a word, but it should just sound like one, solutionaries. Hey. All right. It's not, I know it's, it's, not, it's not in the, it should be in there. I mean, Find a cheap conference money and get it put in there. Say. <laughs> but it, it's still been a problem solved, been solutionary. Huh? Fact, it solved the problem. Rich people solve problems. Huh? Look for a problem. You want to increase? What problem are you solving? Come Maybe you're solving the wrong problem. Mm -hmm. Depending on what you're solving, determine over how, what the outcome is going to be. Some people write songs for a living, tweet, tweet. Hello? Some people write songs for a living and make a lot of money, tweet, tweet. Yeah. Hello? Yeah. Huh? They do something with them. Come on here. Come on. They don't put them under the pillows. They do something with them. Huh? I was watching Jay-Z, I was watching Jay, uh, Jay-Z the other day, and, and they showed his teacher when he was in school. Mm -hmm. And it was a guy that didn't smile and didn't look, like, didn't look too successful. Look at him today. And she would challenge him to read the dictionary. And he came back and thanked her for telling him how to read the dictionary. Well, he's a rapper today. Yeah, well, well the rest is history. Mm -hmm. See, it's not where you start, it's where you finish. Come on. Mm -hmm. It's not where you start, it's where you finish. It's not where you come from, where you're going. Is anybody hearing this here? Yes. Huh? The Bible said, can any good thing come out of, come out of Nazareth? Come on now. Can, can any good thing come out of Nazareth? Because they had a crazy culture. But see, just because you come some, from somewhere, that don't mean that they got to dominate you. Uh -huh. That's right. I may be in the world, but I'm not of the world. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. If you got the goods, you ain't got to let them dominate you. Say. Is anybody hearing this? Amen. Yes. Huh? Listen, we, we in John 5, Sister Kimberly. He said here in, 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 in verse 5, and verse 6, Jesus saw him lying. Jesus saw him lying. Jesus saw him lying. And I want to work L-I-E. Mm. Jesus saw him lying. Some says lying, like lying. But, but, but when I seen it this morning, it said, Jesus saw him L-I-E. See, saw him lying. Come on, man. He seen him. 38 years, you have lied to yourself. 38 years, you, you, you was convinced by the culture that you were lazy, you was broke, you was paralyzed. Because you forgot who you was. Hello. You forgot that you were made after the image and the likeness of me. 
What if I told you, you God's medicine in the earth? Amen. Did anybody hear what I said? What if I told you, you the bomb in Gilead? Well, the bomb in Gilead was a healing bomb. God made you, you the bomb. See, that didn't come from the word. That came from God. He said in the word, you the bomb. Yes, I am. Hallelujah. Find the scripture. If you don't know, get Google that right quick. Find the scripture. It's a bomb in Gilead. You the say, say I'm the bomb. I'm the bomb. I, I'm, I'm your healing. I'm see, the see, if, if, if I can't bless you, brother wise, I don't want to hinder you. Uh -huh. If I can't add to your life, I don't want to take from your life. Come on now. If I can't, if I can't invest in you, I don't want to take from you. Is anybody here? And he said, "You had your hand up, ma'am. I did see your hand go up while ago." Um, you said something about. I just want to um, elaborate on something that you said pertaining to Jay Z. Mm -hmm. Um, and then something that you said before about um, being able to write. Some people write music. Right. I remember. I don't know if that was last week or the week before. You uh -huh. were talking about gifts. Gifts, right? That goes back to someone having it. Possessing a gift. Yeah, but, but but possessing the gift. You're right. Possessing the yeah, gift. Yeah. Possessing the gift. And when I think of possession, fully fully in control. Because mm -hmm. you your gift is a part of your assignment. Right. Come on mm -hmm. now. Your gift is what you're gonna reach the world with. Your gift. Mm -hmm. Your your gift is the begging call. Your gift determines your determine your audience. Your gift determines who you gonna serve, cause you serve through your gift. Are you hearing me, brother? Are you hearing me, son? You serve through your gift. God, can I say something here? Now I'm gonna get radical. Mm -hmm. And I, I and, and one thing about it, if I can't be the prophet, I'm not gonna be coming with you. Say, Are you following what I'm saying? Yes. You don't need me to be. You don't need me to feel sorry for you. You don't need. You don't need me to be feel sorry for you. You need me to pump your faith. You and me, you mean to tell you, you ain't reaching high enough. Say. Are you following what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yes, sir. I got to teach you how to be afraid of price tags. Amen. Amen. <laughs> you ain't hear nothing I just said. Amen. If you stay here, price tag ain't going to be an issue. Amen. Now let me say that again. If you listen to me, if you listen to this prophet anywhere in the world through social media, Price tag will not be if you listen to this prophet. That shall be do or reign in your life. You got to be around a culture that where, where it's at, where it's being spoken. If I said long enough, man of God, you're going to be coming. Yeah. If, if all you hear is it, it, what I'm saying. Come huh? on now. You, you know why baby speaks Spanish? Because that's all they hear. They don't hear the English. Yeah, yeah. If I want them to be by then I'll start talking about both of it. Then they become both of it. Say... Do you, do you know you 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 can you can learn a baby algebra at one? He don't. He's a blank sheet. He don't know nothing about nothing. Else. Teach him algebra. He'll catch on faster than a twenty-year-old because he he's innocent. You teach him from innocent. Is anybody here? Huh? And all you teach is algebra. Huh? Oh, he's smart. Well, that that's natural to him. I don't know now. I remember I had a friend once who could sing real good. He said, I don't understand people that can't sing. Because he was born singing. He said, I just started singing. He said, I don't know people that can't sing. How you can't sing? He said, it's like, I can't, you can't talk. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yeah. See, you do what you believe. You, 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 you do, what, anybody here, you do what you believe. Uh, is anybody hearing this here? Yes, yes. sir. Huh? Huh? Yes. I do what I now listen to this here, listen to this here. What I just said, what, what, what was my, who got my last comment? I, I do what I believe. Yeah. I do what I believe. Huh? If I believe I'm stuck and paralyzed, I'm stuck and paralyzed. Mm -hmm. Hello. Mm -hmm. If I believe price is an issue, then price is an issue. Mm -hmm. See, you create your own issue yeah. by your mouth and belief system. Mm -hmm. Wow. Huh? I, 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 you know, I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do. I can't go for it because the job ain't paid. What's your job got to do with what God told you? Huh? So you tell me God missed it? Mm. Huh? Mm. Let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. Can nothing stop you from doing what you need to do? I I I, I look at uh who is it? Uh Stevie Wonder. Mm -hmm. yeah. Huh? He writes songs like he can sing. Mm. Yeah. Have you ever listened to his songs? Yes. He writes songs like he got eyesight. 
You ever listen to just a ribbon in the sky? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean, he, he writes like he can see. Uh -huh. Be because watch this here. Because he you know, watch this here. Because when 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 the physical side go out, go out go out, then the other senses get stronger. Listen, mm. yeah. we need help in that area. Mm -hmm. you, you, you follow what I'm saying? See, didn't, didn't stop him. As I look, as sometimes I'm on the internet and I'm looking at certain people born with no arm, born with no leg, but moving and shaking. Mm -hmm. Moving in shape. I seen a man that had bum with no legs and no arm, typing with nubs, texting with nubs, and smiling. Huh? Nothing can stop you unless you want to be stopped. Mm -hmm. You got to make a decision that I ain't going no further. Mm -hmm. Shame to you. Is anybody here in this? Yes, sir. So let me read, let me read this read. So, so, so five, get in John 5, verse 7. The sick man answered him, Sir, the sick man, I have no one to put me in the pool when the water is stirred, but while I am coming, another steps before me. Jesus said to him, Rise, take up your bed and walk. Take up the place that you've been, the place where you've been comfortable at. I want you to remove it because you're not coming back there. Move the thing that you've been laying around in. Move it out the way. Move. I want you to. I want you to move your excuse off the agenda. Come on now. I want you to move your excuse out of sight. Hmm? Take up your bed, and I want you to walk. He was to give them an order from the inside. I want you to rise up in your thinking. I want your greatness to rise up. So he says here, rise up, take up your bed and walk. And immediately, someone said, immediately. 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 Someone say, suddenly. 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 Immediately. Immediately. See, I'm talking about, we living in the time and the season now. It's going to happen just like that. Amen. Hello. You're not hearing what I'm saying. I'm giving you a word right now that, that if you believe right, it's going to happen just like that. I can get home and a phone call come. Probably guess what happened. I was in the restaurant and boom, bam, boom. Mm -hmm. You're not hearing what I'm saying. I'm not, try I'm not trying to church you. I'm trying to let you know how God moved. I was Hello. at the gas station and someone told me to hold up. They see me in a dream. You ain't hearing nothing. I'm just, mm -hmm. Are anybody hearing what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Huh? Immediately. See, God is, it, 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 it makes the difference. Mm -hmm. See, see, when any time you're trying to do it in your by the flesh, you see how long it takes to get nowhere? 38 years. And, and then the minute he tapped in the spirit, immediately. Mm -hmm. I'm, I need mean, somebody to hear that. Because yeah. you're wrestling with it. See, it's a struggle because you're wrestling with it. Mm -hmm. You in the way. Mm -hmm. Ain't got no job. Ain't got no money. Ain't got, ain't got, ain't got. Ain't, 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 ain't. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But when you hear spirit, then immediately mm -hmm. things change. Amen. Immediately, immediately when, when the Spirit spoke, he walked up out of it. Amen. He stepped up out of it. See, see when the Word comes, it comes to talk to your potential. It comes to talk to your greatness. It ain't time trying to talk to, the, to that woman that without him excuse. It's trying to talk to the God woman. And the one before the foundation of the world. Hear ye this. Verily, verily. And anytime God says something twice, he's real serious. Until you see verily, verily, about verily, verily. He's trying to say something. Mm -hmm. He's trying to shift your thinking. Is anybody hearing this? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You, you ain't got to stay right there. You ain't got to bind that. That's an illusion. That's an illusion. And you got to decide what you're going to make the lie. You're going to make the truth the lie or the illusion the lie. The revelation the lie or the truth the lie. But, but you're going to believe something. You believe it. When you don't believe, you still believe it. Mm -hmm. I just don't have no faith. You have faith because you believe in that. You got faith in what you just said. That's what you believe because you just said it. Is anybody hearing this here? Mm -hmm. Rise, take up your bed, and walk. And immediately the man was healed. Made whole. He took up his bed and walked. He took up his bed and left the place of nothing. Come on now. Hmm?
See, you got to decide that it's a better life. Mm -hmm. Huh? You got to decide. Do you want to be free? Do you want to be made whole? Yes, sir. Do you want to? Do you? Do you? Do you want to be made whole? You don't know my father. I didn't you about your father. Do you want to be made whole? Mm -hmm. Say. Huh? Whole what? Nothing missing, nothing broken. What, whatever. Whatever. Do you want to be whole? Do you know you, you ain't got a problem that God can't answer? Amen. You, do you know you ain't got a problem that God and already made a decision on? You, you just got to tap into the God decision? Mm -hmm. you, did you know God can create you since Kim and go, and go ignorant and go stupid? Ooh. What am I going to do with her? Oops! Oh, yeah. Forgot about her plan, huh? Are you hear me about temple? Y'all hear this? Yes, sir. What's it, John twenty? I mean, Jeremiah twenty nine eleven. I I know I know the thoughts. I know the thought. I know the plan. The thoughts. The plan. I know the strategies I have towards you. I know the thoughts. Thoughts end up in a divine strategy. I know the thoughts that I have of you. Of good and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Can anybody hear this here? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. God ain't, ain't, ain't made you and forgot the blueprint brand. Forgot, mm, what am I gonna do with that thing? Mm, I didn't think about it. She might lose a child. Mm. Hold up, I'll be right back. Right, right. Hold your friend. Let me go, let me go think about it for a minute then. Huh? Right. He, no, he said, right. while you're yet speaking, I'll answer. While you're yet praying, I'll interrupt your prayer and say, go. Amen. Come yeah. on now. I, that's, that's the word. Huh? Amen. He said, while you're yet speaking, while you're going to God, the Lord, Jesus, Lord, hold on. I don't feel like being really shut, shut up. <laughs> hmm? I believe God just started. You know, I think God got a sense of humor. I believe God just started yes, dancing. While you sit up there wearing God that dance. <laughs> You up there, he's that groove, and go up there, damn. You up there, go up there, party. You think you don't care? Now I'm trying to get you in the rhythm. Uh, now, God, God, come on, come on, sucker, uh, God works in a rhythm. Hello. Come on, here. God works in. He, 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 he came to those that could keep rank. Mm -hmm. Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Huh? The sons of Issachar. They were men that understood the timing and the season of God. And a, a believer that understands the timing and the season of God, they ain't stressed. Hello. I ain't stressing in this season. You ain't hear nothing I see. Uh -huh. See, the wrong word will make you put on the wrong attire. Come on, you ain't hear nothing I just see. I said the wrong word will call you to unclothe and put on the, the wrong attire. See. You a king and you walking around looking like a bomb. Mm. And God done crowned you. Mm. God done crowned you. What just happened to you a, few, a week ago? That's an event. Don't lose that moment. Mm -hmm. That's an event. God was there. Now master it. That's, hmm, God, Amen. You, now step over here with me, God. <laughs> step over here with me, God. Mm -hmm. Say. Huh? Are you following what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. My want to do it crew. Mm -hmm. You want to do it? Yes, it will. 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 That's my want to do it, crew. Want to do it? Yes, it will. Want to do it? Uh huh. Get all of me. Start making you feel a certain way. You start. Hey, wait a minute. Yes, it do. Come, just feel good about yourself. Oh yeah. Hey, don't fool with me. Come on I now. just had an encounter with God. You don't want to fool with me. Amen. See, it's all about someone said, it's all about the way you perceive it to be. Mm -hmm. Come on it's now. About the way I perceive. It's all about it's all about perception. Mm -hmm. It could be a rat or dragon, depending on how you perceive it. Mm -hmm. Huh? You make that thing a dragon and it end up with a rat. Yeah. All you gotta do is chase it and skew it out the way. <laughs> You'd have made a monument out of it. Ooh! What is, what is? Come on, man. Nothing. Any part, any part of your brother, that's an illusion. I told you about I told you at that time about the, about the scenario about the dream. I told you about the dream. Uh -huh. Yeah. I've already told you about the dream. Uh -huh. Y'all wanna hear it again? Yeah, yeah. Say that again. Wanna hear it again? Who remember my dream? Who remember my dream? You remember the dream? Who remember my dream? You? Anybody remember my dream? You remember my dream? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
You remember my dream? You don't remember my dream. I don't let me hear. Get out of here. Who want to hear the dream? Here's the dream. I have a dream, right? And in this dream, this monster is chasing me, right? And so, you know, the dream, I don't know about y'all, but in my dream, when something happened, I can't move fast enough. Yeah. It's like I'm in slow motion. Yeah. You know, it's like I'm trying to get away, but, but it, it's one of those moments where you... Mm. Yeah. And so I'm going, I can't get away. And so finally, the, in the dream, the monster chases me in the corner. And so when he chases me in the corner, I, up, I say, so what are you going to do with me? He said, I don't know. It's your dream. Tell me. <laughs> so I had a decision whether I be killed in the corner or I survive. Say. You hear nothing I see. Huh? <laughs> did anybody just hear what I see? Uh -huh. Huh? huh? It's your vision. Don't allow the enemy to chase you in the corner. Come on now. And if you find yourself in the corner, you make the decision. Whether you get run out the script or he die and you stay in the script. Say. Because you're the producer of your own show. You ain't going to write yourself out the show. See. Did anybody hear this here? Yes. Yeah. Amen. See, son, yeah. see, son, it's your decision. It's your, it's your decision, little prophet. It's your decision. You know why you can't fill in life, son? I am talking directly to you now. You know why you can't fill, son? You don't handle my bags. The spirit of my bag is all in you. My bags are haunting you. See, people don't know when you touch stuff with the prophets. You don't touch my bag. You can't lose, man. You know what? You can't lose? Because you didn't touch my bag. That spirit will haunt you the rest of your life. You try to run my bag, come get you. Say. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. You wake up my car, be in front of your door, say, get in. <laughs> now, you don't do drive yourself for real. I told a friend of mine, I'm, I'm a, I haven't tried that yet because I don't, I don't trust it. But I ain't got the faith to, to let him do it. I, just, I, I ain't, you know, I, I, I pray for the prophet. You know, I can't see nothing going 60 and I ain't holding the wheel. Right. The devil is a lie. Right. Yeah. Oh, you ain't God, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The parking said do all that. I, I trust the parking, you know. I remember, I remember, I'm just, we, we were still back up away. I remember we was demoing it, and um, I wasn't used to that situation. And God was graduating me into that. I'm used to parking my own car. And they would find the parking place, then it'd park itself. And so when he was trying to park itself during the demo, I was grabbing. He said, sir, don't touch it. It knows what it's doing. Well, I, I, I mean, this is your car. I ain't even bought it yet. Now, I ain't trying to threaten it. But nevertheless, it parks itself. It goes in there, and everything adjusts itself. And, Oh, that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the driving on the freeway, I ain't graduated to that yet. I don't know whether I'm gonna, I don't know if I'm gonna hit that button or not. <laughs> yeah, I better hold on to King Jesus. So what would you do? You just like just sitting there. You sit there, you free? just drive. Just like when you go to the airport. Uh huh. You ever drove at an airport? And you got in that train when when a man in there. Yeah. It was going by the 80s. You know, seemed like anyway. And it dropped. You know what it dropped you off at? Yeah. And everything. You just. That is doing cause now. See, same thing. And, and then we did it. We did it at the airport. You see what I'm saying? You have been the airport, and, and you get on there with, and, and, and ain't nobody in there with you. Ain't no man, nobody. And know what? Drop you and everything. This is station. This. Well, your car does the same thing. There's cars that do that now. Mm-hmm. But anyway, with that being, with that, with that good prosperity commercial. <laughs> Amen. Um, so, um, what else was I saying? Anybody got my, anybody, anybody uh, remember what I was saying? Said it's all about the way I perceive it. It's all about the way I look at it. Mm -hmm. It's all about the way I see it. How do you see it? Uh -huh. It's a question. And, and you see it based on the decision that you're making. You can go, someone asked me yesterday, I said, I, I went, so I said, I'm going to all this, and I'm going to get this particular service, something personally for myself. And so, I said, you go, would you come to wait or all of for that? I said, yes. I got a good car. I don't have nothing to do. Mm -hmm. Just me and my wife. She's doing her thing right now. I'm doing my thing, so I'm good. Distance is nothing. Because sometimes you can be right, some be right outside your door, but that doesn't mean it's best for you. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you got to, the drive makes a difference. Mm -hmm. And so what I wanted was in Arlington, mm -hmm. and, and I got a car, and you know, that's what cars are for. Mm -hmm. Right? Right? 
So what, what can stop you from getting what you need when you need it? Nothing. Mm -hmm. Didn't you say something while ago? You, you was, one of y'all was saying something that I wanted to address. Mm -hmm. One of y'all was saying, who was saying something I wanted to address? Somebody between the two of y'all, y'all was saying something. I'm, I'm, I'm in rewind now. But somebody said something that I wanted to address. When she was speaking of the gifts? You talked, you addressed the gifts, but you said something else you said. You said something. You said something. I, we'll, we'll, come, we'll come back and get it. You know. but, uh, but anyway. Um, well, Prophet, I was going to ask you. I go ahead. don't know if you might have heard my thought. I was asking. Well, or I was mm -hmm. thinking it when you were saying about changing, you know, us changing our mindset. I mean, if we're if we're in church, if this is a, a study group here, we're right. learning. Right. When you've been so in the habit of thinking negatively, uh -huh. Uh -huh. what would be the first thing that you would that you'd say to someone like myself who the second something negative happens, I know God's word and I know where to go. You can quit me with that. I've grown mm -hmm. to know where to go. But it's those inner thoughts that but, sometimes... But, but those inner thoughts are there. But the God thought is there too. Yes. You've got to make a decision to have the God thought. First. See, see yeah. here it is. See, here's a prophetic stage. you got the new man and you got the old man. Mm -hmm. You still remember how to do the food. Whether you do the food or not, you're not doing the food. You're not thinking crazy. Because we may have spent most of our life thinking crazy. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? But the bottom line, there's a new man. And watch this here. And the way that happens is the stronger man is going to win when that happens. Mm -hmm. So therefore, if you're constantly feeding the strong man the word of God, then the strong man is going to beat down the weak man, the flesh man. Cast it down. And you cast it down, but when you cast it down, you're replacing it with a God thought. See, just because, watch this here, your mind don't tell you what to think. You tell your mind what to think. Hello. Did you just hear what I just said? See, you tell your mind what to think. Now, you're not going to think this way. Mm -hmm. I was riding yesterday, and, and, and another opposing thought wanted, to, wanted me to entertain a, a certain thought, but my spirit said, no, no, no. I can't entertain that thought. See, you, they, thoughts going to come every day. It's thousands, mm -hmm. millions of thoughts run through your head every day. You don't have to have that thought. Because it runs through your head. Right. Because watch this here. If we expose every thought that went through our head, we all would be embarrassed from the poor pit to the back door. Right. I mean, every thought that it ran through. But you got you got to decide which thought you're going to freeze. Okay. Mm -hmm. See, and the one you freeze is the one you meditate on. Yeah. You follow what I'm saying? Wow. You just hear that? See, if you freeze on, I'm a loser, then you make a decision from a losing perspective. Yeah. Everything looks lifeless to you. Because you stuck on negativity. But if you allow that negative thought to pass, then now you get the God thought. I have the mind of Christ. Because God is ministering to your mind every day. Every time God speaks, he ministers to the mind. The right. mind of the spirit. Huh? Right. Romans 12, 2. Be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing. By the renewing. Every, see, you know what's happening now? There's a renewing going on. Yeah. Every time God speaks, he speaks for a renewal. Uh -huh. yeah. There's a renewal, then there's a transformation. There's a renewal, then a transformation. There's a renewal, then a transformation. Because what, because what renews the mind transforms the life. Do we get that? What renews the mind transforms the life. And so when the life is transformed, now I have a new reality. You, you, you getting that? Mm -hmm. I, 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 I'm, 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 I'm not stuck in this space. Problems, problems we, we're, we're talking about, we're talking about, and you're able to jump in and ad lib on this, but we're talking about destiny is decided by a decision. Destiny is decided, and everything you do is a decision. It ain't nothing, every moment you make a decision. At the red light, you make a decision. At the, at the store, you make a decision. When you go in every room, ain't nothing you finish. When you leave, you make a decision now. Brother, I'm going to listen, listen, I have a dismissal spirit. Are you following what I'm saying? I'm not picking on you, son, but I am picking on you because you're great. I got a lot of invested in you. How are you now? Yes, we do. How many? 17. 17. Do you know you still young? I met you when you were you three. What were they? What were these boys when I met them? They were little boys. Three? Y'all little babies. What? Now, you know I don't care nothing about attitude. Y'all know y'all got to understand me. 
I done fathered these kids. <laughs> Thank you. I, this is the mother in the house. I done fathered these boys. You know when I see, so when y'all see me beating up these young boys, I don't care. I got too much. I got too much in bed. They know I love them. They know it. They know They know I. They know this is tough love. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. If I beat up on grown folks, I'll be I'll beat up on him. He's 31 years old. I'll call his head over and beat him up. <laughs> you know? But but it's love. Yeah. I'm I'm responsible for your greatness. If if we leave your life where it came in the door, we'll fail. But if I promote you to a better life, we'll get our job. Yes. Hello. Let me say that again. My job is to make you go higher. I, I'm not to water you down. I'm not to water you down. Oh, folks, oh, the kidly. Oh, Jesus. No, 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 baby. Get your butt up. Do something. Say. I, I, you, you, baby, you can say anything you want to. You got 30 years invested with me. You can say what you want to. You the neck and you determine what you want to turn. Not, not really. Uh, <laughs> let me add to that because that's a great question. And I thank God for people in the time we in that you can even ask questions because a long time ago you really couldn't. But now, and another thing is remember this too, adding with all that great stuff Prophet said, that first you are spiritual being. You're a spiritual being. But see, we wasn't Having taught that. We wasn't taught that in the culture. Mm -hmm. But we were spiritual being first before we came down in the earth and became humanized and having a human experience. But we spiritual beings. Yes. So we have to, we more, when the spirit of God is in us because that word is in us, then we need to understand that we're not no more to be governed by the culture of this world because we are of the kingdom. You see what I'm saying? Uh -huh. That's what helps us. And that's what even validates us because your own fleshly mind will counsel you out on a lot of stuff. Baby. Oh, you ain't got it. Mm -hmm. Oh, you ain't went to school. Mm -hmm. Oh, you ain't nothing. So oh, you too black, you too short, you ain't got no money. You know, it'll just count you out all day if you allow it. Come on now. But see, once you begin to get, once again, God begins to summon you. And I want to help some people sometimes, because I know sometimes many people just think they just walk up in the kingdom. No, you don't. No, you don't. You get you get ushered in because the, 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 the son, see, the father will send the son. He did it first. He's he doing it again. He sent sons. He sent maturity coming at you Come with truth. Now. With God in, in the vessel dealing with you. And he said, I choose you. You didn't choose me. So sometimes people, and I'm going to show you another scripture. I just got so much in my mind, I got to get back and give it back to prophet. Listen, uh-uh. God summons you in the presence. You never can just bust up. First natural spirit. Go to Buckingham and think you're going to bust up in the king court. No, you're not. Mm -hmm. No, you're not. Uh -huh. You have to be summoned. Amen. You have to be invited. Amen. Oh, come on now. Yeah. So yeah. in the spirit realm, when God, baby, you just don't bust up. I know they say come boldly, but watch watch your reverence. Because see, the now. father going to summon you in there. Because his eyes ain't never off you. Mm -hmm. Remember, he not creating a plan that's already made. Mm -hmm. And he done really gave you a cheat sheet if you go and study it. Mm -hmm. If you go study him, if you go mm -hmm. study him, and sometimes mm -hmm. you got to go, just, just go it in. Prophet talked that revelation. Go it in, do that. Go study the God in you. You know God from flesh. Come on. Come on um, now. Say that again. You know go God within. Flesh, go within. I, I talked that for you. Go within or do, do without. Go within. Sometimes you have, to, you have to silence yourself mm -hmm. because the world is busy. It's always mm -hmm. sounds, voices, mm -hmm. yes, a lot yes. of them. Yeah. You know, and all yeah. these thoughts, thank God, that run through our head. Yes, so yes. you got to learn, you have to really train and put a demand on your flesh man to, to silence it. I don't know what time you're going to do it early, in the afternoon, mm -hmm. at night. Yeah. You need to learn to silence your soul, yourself, so you can hear God. Because God can't talk while you're talking. He's not, he's not like a lot of us, you know, just interrupt you. He's a gentleman, the Holy Spirit is a gentleman. you got to silence yourself with intent to hear from God. Amen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wait, you, you know what? You, don't right there. Don't worry. She, she just provoked something when she said she was talking. I heard this here. you got to decide what you're going to decide. Mm -hmm. Hello. Let me say that again. You got to decide. After you hear God, you got to decide what you're going to decide. Mm -hmm. After you hear God, here goes the battle. Sight. Yeah. Sight going to interfere yeah. with the voice. Yeah. Yeah. You hear nothing I just said? Yeah. The, the, the natural sight gets in competition with the voice of faith. Mm -hmm. 
Uh -huh. What I just say? The natural eyesight get in competition with the marks of faith, with the hearing of faith. See what I'm saying? And so now you, 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 the voice is saying one thing, unknown, but guaranteed. But the physical eye is showing you the now of where, where you look limited. Right there. The voice, the messenger was speaking. He was missing the message. And John he was missing the message. The voice was speaking. He got entangled with the culture. I'm from the hood. Mm. I didn't have no mama. I didn't have no daddy. You see what I'm saying? I did this when I was young. I did that. See, guilt. See, all that. You be surprised all that play a part in you, the, the, the end of your greatness. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, you, 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 you do a good thing. You run across somebody that you used to do wrong with. And now the enemy start bringing guilt on you. Like, like, you, ain't, like you ain't renewed. You ain't hear nothing. I'm, I'm saying something real. Huh? You, 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 here you are supposed to be delivered. Now somebody remember when? I don't. <laughs> I, am, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Look, write this down and you can finish up. Greatness never looks back but always look forward. Greatness never retrieved to yesterday. Greatness deal with the now and that's to come. When God noticed the... By decision. Go ahead. No, notice my terminology. When God send you into territories, he send you not to come in and get acquainted with it and, you know, and get, you know, and agree with it. He's sending you in to take over. How am I going to do that? I'm going to get the word of his spirit, the word of his spirit, the word of faith. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to take my authority and God mm -hmm. and the spirit of God who enables me and helps me. If I meditate on it, if I put my belief in what God is saying, then I can master my lack. I can master. See, this come up against me. I can master it. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? Because I have truth. Mm -hmm. And my spirit ain't sick. Your body is. Mm -hmm. And you feel it, but your spirit ain't Amen. sick. Amen. Did you hear that? Uh -huh. So uh -huh. you got to rise up and say, no, I'm not coming in agreement with it. Mm -hmm. And you have been given authority. He said, behold, behold. Listen to me say, behold. I give you power over all the powers of the enemy. What is it? The enemy of your soul. That enemy that want to fight against the truth in you. So I gave you power over it. And you got to stand up and you got to take your thought and deal with it. And sometimes mm -hmm. it's a wrestle because he said we wrestle not against what? Mm -hmm. wrestle, we're wrestling with people. Mm -hmm. Who are with people really? Who are we yes. We're wrestling with people. Even mm -hmm. though it show up in a person, stop wrestling with them. Come on here. And watch that spirit. What is Come this? on what now. Is this? Mm -hmm. so, okay, so this spirit on assignment to Priest. delay me. What, what, does, what really does contention and confusion do to you? Mm -hmm. If you don't quit fooling with it, what it's going to do? Delay you. Hindrance. It's a hindrance and it's a delay from you moving forward or for you going on to conquer. Because God sent you to take over. I didn't send you to come here and get agreement. I sent you to take over. Master. Wherever God sent you, remember I done already been before you. I Hello. got your back. Mm -hmm. I'm in you. Why is we going to lose? Right. Same. We're loaded. We're you loaded with results. Loser. Amen. You're loaded with results. You're loaded. First Peter, First Peter 2. One, I mean. You're loaded with results. I mean, you're, you're loaded with answers. We're loaded with answers. Now, now, choose the principle that apply with the issue. Choose the principle. Choose the principle. Hmm. Choose, choose the principle. And Your destiny look like you ain't. And that's the reason why we come to the house. That's why we come to fellowship with uh, believers. That's why we come. Because iron sharpening iron and holy because it's going to either he's going to put you in remembrance of something, he's going to confirm something, or uh, he's going to put you in remembrance of something, or he's revealing something to you. Let me ask you a question. So, um, there's a lot of things that I've learned since being here at this church. And, you know, when, you, when you're when you starting off and you're trying to walk this walk, you don't, you might not always, or there are times where I don't always, like we spoke about feelings. I don't feel like I 
fully have 100% confidence in what I'm saying, but I'm saying it to do something different than what I've been doing. What I've been doing, what I've been saying out of my mouth and thinking in my mind hasn't been working. So being here, you guys have replaced that, giving me God's word and telling me, hey, say this from your mouth, think this. But there are times where I'm like, okay, I know I really didn't believe it, but I, I had to do something different than what I was doing. Does God honor that? Am I being a fake? No, no, because no, he lets no, that motive. Mm -hmm. God lets that motive. Your motive <coughs> is to win. That, that, that's your motive. That's what it sounded like to me. Your motive yeah. is to win, even though you fully didn't. But at least you did something. Because mm -hmm. then you just full of unbelief and doubt. You won't do nothing. You just froze. Yeah. And you just standing there. You won't do nothing. <coughs> you won't say nothing. Just get your butt worked all the time. Let me show you what's fake. What's fake is that it's not of God. It's fake. What's fake is what you was used to that was getting you nowhere. Right. That was fake news. Mm -hmm. right. See what I'm saying? That wasn't right. the gospel. And so you got comfortable with the fake, and you got confident in the fake. See what I'm saying? So now here comes faith. The more you hear faith, the more you will have faith, and the more you have the confidence. Faith comes by hearing, not heard. Right. So, you, so you can't give faith at all. Faith never needs a vacation. You don't give faith an off day. I think I was telling one of y'all this morning, the same faith you, you do a certain thing in, that same faith, that same, that same rhythm, ain't no different rhythm, the same faith, I was telling some people this morning about some certain things, certain things you know you wouldn't have did had faith wouldn't have been there. You know you wouldn't have did certain things. If you woke up any time and looked at that contract and faith was, <laughs> faith was gone, you ran out, the, ran out the finance office. But when faith is there, uh -huh. you, you don't see facts. You hear faith. Mm -hmm. I live by faith. I come this far by faith. Mm -hmm. You look at the man that came to Dallas with nothing but a word. And build a, didn't know my, didn't have a friend, didn't know nobody. On this side. On this side. Didn't know anybody on this side. Of town. Of town. Came here on the word. And God, God build me a life through a prophetic word. You know what I'm saying? You don't need money. You need faith. Mm -hmm. But I just say, you don't need money. You money can't get you faith, but faith can get you some money. Right. Mm -hmm. Is any, anybody just see what I did? Your source, yeah. is, your, 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 your source is God. And, and when you like, I told somebody this morning, when you need money, it ain't money you need. You need information. Right. Information will bring the money. It's the info, the principle. The principle will cause you, is money don't make you get into overflow, it's principle will make you get into overflow. Follow the principle. You follow me? Yeah. So you can have a bunch of money, like stock market is designed to do certain things for you. But if you break a certain principle, you could go broke. But you got to follow the principle. Then he said, I'll teach you how to profit. I'll teach I'll you. Teach you and, and you know how I teach you? Through the principle. Through the principle. I told someone this morning, I said, I can't, I can't feel sorry for you. I said, I said, if I get coming, because you know, I can say, I know you, I know you're seeing your, your situation. And, and, and never hear the voice of God for your life because I'm hearing situation. So what I do as a prophet, I gotta divorce your situation. Mm -hmm. And I gotta speak to you prophetically. Mm -hmm. You know? I, I can't Anthony, I can't talk to you like you just got laid off. I, I can design a gospel to go. Oh, he just laid, just got laid off. So when I come here, I come with this pity pad gospel. No, I come to a gospel and tell you, you got more than enough. And I don't treat you no different from anybody that got billions. See, that's like, because God, God don't see, God don't, God, God never talked to you from lack. He talked to you from supply. You hear now, now see. God never talked to you from, from, from insufficiency. He talked to you from prosperity. Huh? Like I told y'all, when you pray, don't pray from sickness, pray from healing. Hello. Don't pray from broke, pray from overflow. Hello. Are you, you follow what I'm saying? Don't, don't, don't pray from the problem, pray from the answer. Huh? And I, I and I just out of experience, let me help you with that too. Mm -hmm. When uh if you if you get your eyes on sickness mm -hmm. more than you do on yeah. him. Problems and sickness is gonna overtake you. Witchcraft. You know what I'm saying? Something. You know, like sometimes you know when you can talk to people and they say, Yeah, but my doctor told me that mm -hmm. yeah, but my and here's oh, my truth standing up in her. And and truth with some manifestation. 
Yeah. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Because we'll usually, if you if you overcome, the confidence is there to say because you know you know it happened. Mm -hmm. You know you done seen it happen. So listen, you gotta you gotta take your eyes. You gotta shift your eyes, your consciousness off the situation and put it on him. Mm -hmm. And you got to because if you put it on him, the sickness gonna go away. Yeah. If you really do it. Yeah. I challenge people today to do that. If you do it. I had an issue with my back. It was just aching, aching, aching. And all them thoughts was just having a party. I was like, you don't get yourself up out of here. No, no, I'm not going. I could have went. I don't teach against the physician. God created him. If he, if he instruct me and want to use them and go there, because whatever, my faith ain't there or whatever the reason, whatever. Listen, then I'm hearing it, then I can go. I'm going to go in faith because I know he got me. But just going in my natural understanding, no, I ain't going to do it. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because I know he's a healer. So I start telling him, I say, look, I'm with the great physician. Why is, why I got to leave him and go to them? So that shut that spirit down. Come on now. <laughs> I mean, just shut it down. And then I just kept walking every day, you know. I, uh, sometimes I thought about things. Sometimes I put some, uh, slap some oil on it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I slap some healing oil on it. Sometimes I was just decreeing out of my mouth. Mm -hmm. And I was just going against the ground. Whenever the enemy gives me a lying voice, I always turn it around. If you're lying, then I wanna, I'm going to turn it around. If you're telling me I'm a loser, then I'm thinking winning. Mm -hmm. I already Say. know my pre the presence and the answers Amen. all up on me. See what I'm saying? So I oh, okay, Jeff, but you showed up. Okay, you you let me know I'm good. Mm -hmm. I ain't that. Whatever you said, right. you a liar. I'm not that. Right. But I am what he say I am. See what I'm saying? That's that's that transitioning that the power of the Holy Spirit that indwelling us does. And we have to, in my sitting down for now, you have to have to create fellowship time with the Holy Spirit because a lot of things get done being in the presence. Hello. When you're just in the presence of God. You know how powerful the presence of God is? Oh my God. He'll answer a whole lot of things for you. He'll go before you and do stuff before you even get out and speak. See, yes, yes. just in the presence of God. In the presence. Mm. Amen. Oh, wait. Amen. And you know when you're in the presence, it's something like you can just sense it. You, mm -hmm. you sense something greater. The greater than a rose up. Look, he just uh, stood up and took over the house. Amen. Over the house. Yeah. You know, and that's a good time to open up your mouth and talk to when you are aware of this presence. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 That's, that's, that's good stuff. Are y'all getting this here? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Y'all getting this stuff? Yes. Now, now, this, now this word is going to yield some results. How many of God don't just talk to talk? Amen. Amen. But, Amen. See, this is one of them left there be words. <laughs> you hear me? Y'all missed that. So, so it started? Left there be words, <laughs> huh? <laughs> one of them 24 hour words. Let <laughs> there be. Amen. Did anybody catch that? Let yes, there be words? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. In the beginning, he said, let it be. Amen. See what you you got the power to let it be. Amen. Someone said the let it be syndrome. Let, let it be. be syndrome. Living from the let it be syndrome. I'm gonna teach that at midnight one time. That's that, that gonna be a special audience. Mm -hmm. Just for those who want to let it be. Y'all understand. It's a lot of things God do at midnight. God, there's a midnight anointing. Hello. Ah, uh, that's for grown, that's for grown oh, folks. Thank you. Yeah. And, and you know what? It won't even be a strong requirement. You know what it's gonna be when I, when I do calling? Uh -huh. Who's never will? Uh -huh. I, ain't, I ain't ain't no demand. And, and, and you ain't obligated. Well, I'll, I'll, be I'll be there whenever whenever I demand. It's gonna be at twelve o'clock <laughs> at midnight meeting. <laughs> I, I just say slumber party. I said a meeting. Mm -hmm. And it ain't going to be no requirement, it ain't going to be no, like, mm -hmm. what were you at? Uh, nothing, we ain't going to say nothing. It ain't going to be one of those meetings that we come from the trans, uh, Mount of Traffic Rest, tell no man, mm -hmm. tell no man. But what happened to the you? They can't tell you. Um, you weren't there. <laughs> well, let me tell you something. We used to have five in the morning, we used to have four, four, five in the morning, we used to have people. Uh, uh, we well, remember that, honey? Yeah. Yeah. Jam, I was yeah. Yeah. Was yeah, you was there. <laughs> But, uh, I, was, I was moving them from prayer. I'm talking about, session. watch this here. That anointing was so packed. I remember one time, I, uh, Connie Weir, just laid there, oh, Connie yeah. Weir, I prophesied. I, 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 watch this here. I'm, I'm sure how, how powerful it was, this anointing was. 
I'm proud we was living on green. We didn't know you then. We were doing a lot of something. None of y'all. Yeah. We know Sister Joan is. Yeah, but but because we've been on Sister Joan about 30 years. But um, uh, uh, close to 30 years anyway. Um, but uh, I remember uh, we was we was in prayer. And, and, and sometimes the spirit of prophecy would fall at the end of the prayer. And I began to prophesy to my wife. I said, the Lord said that he's going to send you a bunch of shoes. Uh, I see a bunch of shoes. I mean, I'm telling you. And so when the prophet was over, prophets opened the front door. And when she opened the front door, there's a big box of shoes from Prophetess Connie Williams. I don't know if some of y'all Google, you can Google her, find out who she is. But Prophetess Connie Williams had, uh, I don't know, that woman just fake, because I remember taking off a diamond ring back in the day, put it on your finger. But anyway, she opened the door, and I'm talking about, I'm talking about, because she dressed, I'm talking about stylish shoes, big box about, about this high and this wide, full of shoes that she, she was passing on her mouth. Dress shoes, t Dress shoes, shoes, all kind of shoes. All kind of shoes. But, but the, the strip was so accurate, I mean, we had just, I had just prophesied. And as soon as you opened the door, there was a shoe. Wow. Had I been a number believer, I would have ran. <laughs> <laughs> thank, thank God I was anchored. Amen. <laughs> but anyway, uh, let me read this scripture. I'm going to tell y'all something else. Uh, look at, look at right quick. We got a few minutes. Give me, we, we got about three minutes. Let's use them. Okay, let's use them. Now, okay, go, go to Proverbs uh, uh, 32. Proverbs, no, Proverbs 8, verse 32. Now, therefore, listen to me, O ye children, for blessed are those who keep my ways, who keep my plans, who keep my strategies, who keep my principles. Blessed are who? Those that keep my way, those that keep my principles, those that keep my strategy. Because wherever you find his ways, you're going to find his strategy. Uh -huh. You're going to find his plan. Okay? Hear instructions. Hear instructions and be wise. Brother Wise. Mm -hmm. Hear instructions <laughs> and be wise. Mm -hmm. And do not refuse it. Mm -hmm. What did he say? Don't do me. not refuse it. Mm -hmm. Huh? Are y'all seeing that? Mm -hmm. Blessed is the man who heareth me. Oh. What well, I need to be blessed? I got to hear him. Miracles start in the what? In the ear. Huh? Watch this here. Watching daily at the gates. What? Let, can I break down the, what the gates are? Watching daily at the gates of my mouth. At the, at the gates of God's mouth. That's where his diamonds and jewels come out of. Mm -hmm. Come on. Sapphire. Sapphire to sapphire. Embro to embro. Diamond to diamond. You ain't hear that. You want to say, call it all emeralds, call it all diamonds. Hello. Reporting. Value. You ain't, is it, y'all, y'all missed that. Y'all step, y'all just slept that. Value. Huh? See, when God mean business, mm -hmm. he won't call you by Kimberly, he'll say my diamond. Mm -hmm. My sapphire. I took you out of my mind. Are y'all hearing this here? Yes. Hear instruction and be wise and, be, and, and do not refuse it. Blessed is the man who heareth me, watching daily at my gates, waiting at the post of my doors. Jesus. Come on here. Are y'all hearing this here? Yes. For whosoever <coughs> findeth me, findeth life. Mm. See, all you got to do is find God in the situation, then you find the life of the situation. Mm -hmm. Huh? If, what I tell you about, about an hour ago, every storm do not come to kill you. Mm -hmm. come on, it now. come to blow your clear path where you can walk Amen. in your kingship. Amen. You ain't hear nothing I see. Huh? Amen. Come on. It, it blows your clear path, and, and now, now you see the palm leaves laid as you walk. Come on here. Is anybody hearing this? Yes, I'm, 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 give me one minute. I'm done. 35. Who's there but findeth me, findeth life, and will obtain favor of the Lord? You ain't heard nothing I said. I feel like running. I feel like just doing, doing a backstroke down 35. Mm -hmm. Just flipping all the way backwards, huh? Mm. Just leave the car parked. Just 
and just start, just, 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 just change lanes and just, and just, what's that man doing? He, ain't nothing wrong with him, he's just being normal. Where's his car? He left it. Y'all get this, you get this, Sister Kimberly. You get this, you get this. You're in a good season. You're in a good season. Point this camera towards this way, because you rehearsed this word. I think I told you a few ago. God said, if you listen to this prophet, you I don't care what this I say. This morning, there's gonna be, you get ready to tap into some residual income. I, I, I see a setting you're gonna be in, and make sure that car is sparkling and park away can be seen too. And I want you to put on some business and time. I don't care if you just gotta go by it that day. But I see a meeting you about to go to. And somebody's going to turn you on to some valuable information, and you're going to make money while you sleep. You ain't heard nothing I just said. Point this camera this way. You know that live wire that when you looked at it, it spoke up something? I promise you, you'll rehearse this tape and you'll hear this word. But one word of God, let me tell you something. You are about to enter a fine season, and when you tap into it, it's going to be residual income. It's going to look like a pyramid thing, but it ain't no fake. It ain't no joke. And less than 30 days, you'll be a part of this. You don't hear nothing I say. I know I'm hearing God. One thing about a great leader, he ain't intimidated. I want you to exceed and walk in the double portion of this anointing. Mm -hmm. The enemy once tried to run you out of this region. Baby, this is you. This is the region you belong in. Your name is going to be known in this city. Hello, man. You ain't hear nothing I just said. I said, your name shall be known in this city. Mm. Your job going to be doing this here. You're going to wake up and see how much money is added on the computer. You ain't here. People are gonna be joining forces to you while you speak up that phone, while you sleep. You gonna go, like the Lord said, you're gonna go to bed at one figure and wake up at another. Mm. Hey, oh, I hear the Holy Ghost. Uh, are you hearing what I'm saying, woman God? You got that camera pointing towards me? You go to bed and the figure be two figures and you wake up and be three. Mm -hmm. Immediately the Lord said. God know what he's doing. God know what he's doing. Your everything is getting ready to change. Your whole everything. And God said, don't let the price be the enemy in this season. Don't even worry about price. Don't even worry about price. And I see prophets going to turn you on to some things. Because I remember this woman here, when I met her, boy, she, you talking about underground shop, this woman could come out, boy, I'm like, what? girl, what in the world? I'd be trying to train them back, what did you do? What you mean? <laughs> I be trying to, it wasn't nothing missing out of nowhere. Everything was normal. But I look at her, something got to be missing. <laughs> but she got an eye for the goods. <laughs> She'll help you too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, st name brand stuff one, one time. Mm. You, you ain't hearing nothing I see. Okay. Huh? In a mouth. In a mouth. And a prophecy. Oh. To talk. But see, you gotta have that conversation before you get on the street. The one with the issue of blood, she had the conversation before she seen Jesus. She said before she said, if I could just put touch. Mm -hmm. that was, that, he wasn't even around me. Mm -hmm. She brought him into the scene. Mm -hmm. She brought him on her path. You ain't hear nothing else. Is anybody oh, hearing this here? Yes. 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 God got a house for the car. You ain't hear nothing. Did you hear what I just said? Mm -hmm. I'm not talking from situation, I'm talking from revelation. Mm -hmm. God got a house. For the car. Anybody hearing this here? Yes. Come on, give God some praise. Glory. Glory. Some people run around, some people run around wishing things was different, and some people make things different. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You gotta make them different. Amen. You follow what I'm saying? Yes, indeed. Give God some praise. If you're hearing this word today, I want to I want to give you the opportunity to make a decision. I want to give you a, a life. See, freedom is a decision. I said freedom is a decision. If you've heard this word today and, and you realize I need to make another decision, it starts with your salvation. If you believe that God has sent his son Jesus Christ to die from you and raise him from the dead that you can be saved, you can receive right now. He said, if you confess with your mouth and believe it with your heart, 
thou shalt be saved. And I want everybody to say this with me. To those out there that I may be seeing you, so you may be seeing me for the first time. Some of you just cut the cut, cut your uh, Facebook live on right now, but I'm going to give you the opportunity to embrace the kingdom of the day. Say with me, say, God, God. Forgive me of all my sins. I believe that you sent your son Jesus Christ to die for me and raise him from the dead that I could be saved. Deliver me from all manner of sin. I embrace your righteousness and what your son Jesus Christ did on the cross for me. For me. I thank you, God. I thank you, God. That I am saved. I am Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Now, this is not about a feeling. It's about a confession that you believe. And if you believe that right now, change happen right now. I believe by the Spirit of God that the Holy Spirit will lead you to that right shepherd, to that right ministry. But until then, you can stay tuned to Now Faith Fields. We're not reach minutes. We're live every week. Until we meet again, go and grow in the things of God, and we'll see you next time. Now, also, before we go to those that have been listening, if you've been blessed by this word, we want to give you the opportunity to sow a prophetic seed. If you have tithes and offerings, that go to your church if you have a church home. But if you don't have a church home, and you've been feeding out this word for years, you simply are willing, or able, not simply, but able to, to send your tithes and offerings here. If you want to send a prophetic seat, you can. The Bible said, give, and it shall be given unto you. Good men, just press down, shaking together, running over, shall men give it to your bosom. Some of you right now, you, you've been waiting on this opportunity because you've been saying, how can I give unto that prophet? You've heard the word of God. You've seen God results happen. And, and, at the hearing of the word that my wife and I have spoken uh, over this um, social media. So if you want to give to Now Faith Youth, you can go to paypal.com. Darrell Johnson, D-A-R-R-E-L-L -L, Johnson, 1958 at yahoo.com That's paypal.com Darrell Johnson, D-A-R-R-E-L-L -L, Johnson, 1958 at yahoo.com So, I mean, go take your seat so you see, 104 return This is good ground This is good ground It take a C to break a cycle Amen? Amen. Till we see, see you again, go and go to the things of God We'll see you next time God bless. Yeah.